to my very own reading corner. So guys, today I'm going to be making a video on um, rapping about bodies of water. So let's head on. Water on Earth. Earth is called the blue planet. Do you know why this is true? Five huge oceans cover most of Earth. So from space, our planet looks so blue. Look up, there is water in the clouds. Look down, it is on the ground too. Do you know that water is also in me and you? What is a body of water? A body of water is a place where water collects in a certain space. Bodies of water can be huge or small. They can be human made or natural. These pictures show water. Have a good look. To learn more about water, read this fun book. Earth's Oceans. What is wet, in salty, and in constant motion? It is a huge water body called an ocean. Look at Earth's oceans on the map below. How many are there? Do you know? Can you name the oceans from large to small? Were you able to name them all? So we have five oceans. There's the Arctic Ocean, the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is actually the biggest one. We have the Atlantic Ocean, the Southern Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and the Pacific Ocean. Ocean Water. Ocean water travels in currents and waves, moving onto beaches into sea caves. The water can heat or cool the land. The big waves it brings cover the sand. Some parts of oceans are shallow and bright. Some are deep and dark as the night. Some ocean animals make their own light in a zone of the ocean called midnight. Water bodies at coasts. Oceans touch land at many coasts. Oceans are the edges of land. Coasts can be covered in rocks or stones or have beaches of fine soft sand. This group of coastline pictures explorers the bodies of water at ocean shores. So you guys can see a bay is a body of water that flows around a curve in the land. This bay has beautiful beaches. They are made of soft white sand. And so a harbor is a secluded space that keeps boats sheltered and in their place. Nature's pools. Seashores have tides that are high or low. During low tide, where does the water go? When the ocean recedes or moves away from the shore, it leaves tide pools that are fun to explore. Animals trapped between pockets of rocks can stay alive when the water drops. When the next high tide brings water on shore, they are carried back to the ocean once more. Not all the animals make it back. Some end up as seabird snack. Deep lake waters. A lake is a large body of fresh water that is completely surrounded by land. The water in most lakes is still in deep and its shores have rocks stones, or sand. Some lakes are so big, they look like seas. In winter, parts of some lakes can freeze. Lakes provide much of the water we drink. Lake water may be in your tub or sink. And so guys, so um, I have a lake near me, guys, and also it f froze in... Um, I didn't try standing on it, but um, some so there was footsteps of some animals that went on it, and it looked very cool. Small lakes called ponds. Ponds are small, still, shallow lakes that are home to fish, frogs, birds, and snakes. Water lilies, hikings, cattails, and sedges grow in ponds and along their edges. Birds hide their nests among the weeds. Some line their nests with cattail seeds. Turtles bask on rock or logs. They live in ponds along with frogs. Female frogs lay clumps of eggs. A tadpole hatches with a tail, not legs. The tail is replaced as the froglet grows by four strong legs and 18 toes. So you guys can see there's a picture of a clump of eggs and you see the tadpole with tail and it turns into a frog with long legs and it has no tail. Rivers flow. Rivers flow from high ground to low. They carry fresh water as they go. The source of a river is where it begins. The mouth of a river is where it ends. Rivers meander in curves and bends. 
They rush through rapids, crash over rocks, drop in waterfalls, and make no stops until they reach a lake or sea. Can you find this river's mouths for me? So, um, you guys can see in the picture, and so, um, it shows that, so you guys can see in the background, actually, you see the source is all the way up in the, um, mountains, the, the, there's a waterfall, and then it turns into a river while it comes down, and then its mouth is an ocean sea or lake, and then it goes into there. A small, narrow river is called a stream. How shallow or deep does this water seem? So streams aren't actually that deep. Many rivers from high mountains flow crashing powerfully over rocks below. A river's path makes turns and bends on the way to its mouth where it finally ends. Water everywhere. Most of Earth is covered in water. Most of our bodies are water too. Our bones and brains and the blood in our veins need water to do the work that they do. Without water, we could not survive. Without water, we could not be alive. Our hearts could not beat. We'd be unable to eat. Our brains could not think without water to drink. So you guys can see above and below. So water is in the clouds above and in the ocean below. It is what icebergs are made of, as well as the cold white snow. Water evaporates, melts, and freezes. It blows in strong winds and gentle breezes. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this book, guys. So guys, I have one question for you guys. And what are some examples of water? So where can you guys, like, find water? Like, um, where can they be? So guys, hopefully you guys can answer that question. I'll see you guys in another awesome video. Bye, guys!